And I asked the, uh, John uh, somewhere along the lines of, hey, so how much food have you been getting in? You gaining weight? You, you getting enough carbohydrates, fats, and proteins? And he said, oh, no. Uh, we had a challenge, and I'm down 20 pounds, and he's laughing about it. Julia said, I'm sure you've been beefing up. I'm sure you've been bulking up. And I said, Julius, I lost 20 pounds. He was like, silence. I paused for about 10 seconds because I'm thinking, what is this guy thinking? You can't be on a caloric deficit and losing weight while trying to get stronger. It just doesn't happen. There's very few people in the world that can do that, do that, do that. Hi, Barrington Allen here with the Energized Health family, and I'm with the one and only John Jubilee, my partner, my friend, for the last 20 years. And he has always been about health for the human body, ever since I've known him. And people are getting seriously transformed. But we're doing something really special today. John, why don't you tell us about it? Something inspired you to do something massive. Can't wait to hear it, tell us. Well, it really was inspired out of just everyday faithfulness. Um, you know, as you know, because you're my friend and, and only my friends and family know this about me, that once a year I do a max lift. So I don't teach max lift. I have no <laughs> ego. I'm not trying to impress anybody. But there's a scripture in the Bible in Deuteronomy. It says, as your years are, so shall your strength be. Mm. And I believe the word of God is true. And so because of that, I put it to the test. So every year, I started at about 200 pounds and 210, 220, 230. No, see, that's where I would have stopped. But you go over. Let's go. Let's hear it. But just a tiny bit. It's about a quarter of a pound. So just picture a quarter pounder increasing a quarter of a pound a week. Not very much. It's a tiny amount of weight, right? Uh -huh. A quarter of a pound. A, a girl could pick up a quarter pounder with two, with two fingers. But by just increasing a tiny amount, mm -hmm. that weight, Every week through faithfulness, one year, two years, five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25. This is 27 years later. Wow. Today, that weight is going to be 555 pounds. Wait a minute. Five, five, five? Five, five, five. Deuteronomy, five <laughs> books of the Torah. You're, you're amazing. I love it. I love it. You see, what, you, what he's telling us right now is that the same discipline that it takes to build oneself physically is the same discipline that it takes to build oneself spiritually. And I know you're about both. Tell us about that side too. No, I am about both. So we've always taught mind, body, and spirit. Uh, you know, be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So we have to have a healthy mind. We have to have a healthy spirit. Mm -hmm. We have to have a healthy body. Absolutely. So sometimes the church, they're too spiritual. They're great in the spirit and the mind, but their bodies are sick and depleted. Wait a minute, it's not okay to eat donuts after service? You know, I'm not saying it's not okay to eat a donut, you know, but it's, but you have to have- I knew a you had balance. You gotta have a moderate lifestyle. I mean, I like some Krispy Kreme, you know? Okay. I mean, I like it when the light comes on. Hot side. But, but there's a moderation through everything. And so, as you know, I live a moderate life, right. uh, you know, intracellular hydration. But this today is really a celebration of a lifestyle of faithfulness for 27 years of doing something the right way and to show also to inspire people at any age, you can dream again. You know, what's your 555 lift? So this happens to be, you know, the most amount of weight. Um, you know, we researched all over the internet. You know, some people said this is a world record. I really don't care if it's a world record. I really don't. I'm doing this for myself personally, to prove it's my personal best, mm -hmm. but also do it as a challenge for you in our audience to show what's your 555? What's that thing you didn't think you could do? Maybe it's walk around the block. Maybe it's get up a flight of stairs. Maybe it's overcome a drug addiction, mm. an alcohol addiction, mm. whatever that is. And I wanna challenge everyone starting today on a 555 challenge. What's your 555? It may be, to walk five blocks for five days for five weeks consecutively. Beautiful. What's your 555 challenge? I challenge you, what's your 555? But, and you can't jump into it immediately. You have to do it, like you said, incrementally. What, what, what's the value of taking those incremental steps versus just jumping out and, all right, I'm going to do my 555 immediately? 
Well, you jump out and do it immediately. You know what? You're going to be walking like Fred Sanford. You know, <laughs> you know you're, going be, you're going to be doing the Fred Sanford walk. That's that's not going to be a good thing. A lot of people don't know what that's about, but you know, Google it. You'll figure it out. <laughs> that's right. But you know, you're going to hurt yourself. So, so we teach: do what you can. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what you can't. Do what you can. Don't worry about what you can't. So whatever you can start with today, I just want to encourage mm -hmm. you to do your 555. I got to give some big shout out to my wife. She's the one who did all the research online and, mm -hmm. you know, and she said, baby, you know, some 28 year old guy with a spring loaded 500 pound spring loaded shirt uh, did 541 pounds on a bench press Ooh. like a 28 year old. See, that's all she needed to do was just tell you and drop that seed in your head. Well, you know what? So, uh, so what'd you react? How did you react to that? Well, I told her, I said, well, first of all, anybody who wears a 500 pound spring loaded shirt, to me, that's not oh. good. I'm just going to say that. That's <laughs> okay. not good. Okay. I want to be all natural. I want to be all natural. Uh, but I also said, look, I want to be natural. I want to be safe. I said, you know, there's a... That makes sense. There's a free weight machine. Hammer Strength is the only free weight machine on the planet Earth. Every other machine uses leverage and... And assist. And, and assist. Mm -hmm. But the Hammer Strength is truly a free weight. It's still a free weight lift. So I said, I'm going to do the free weight on the Hammer Strength decline. We researched all over. We couldn't find anywhere where anyone had ever even done more than 455. 455 was the most we saw. So this is beating that by 100 pounds. You see that? Now we're, we're getting into uncharted waters with this now. And again, you're, you're leading out front, brother. Hi, my name is Julius Maddox. I am the all-time world record holder for bench press, but I hold the current world record at 782 pounds. Hi, my name is Mike Flint. I am the oldest college linebacker in NCAA history. My ultimate goal is an 800 pound bench press and then we're gonna go on a weight loss journey. My background is in strength and fitness. Uh, I was a strength and conditioning coach at the University of Nebraska, University of Oregon, Texas A&M, and that's one of the connections that John and I had from so many years ago. All right, so we came out here to Tennessee and we ran into a little bit of adversity several days before the event. John called us and said, you guys, you're not even gonna believe this, but the venue that we have the lift at, the machine is not the right machine and it's missing a screw. Yeah. So then he had a conversation with Jim. He yes. did, yeah. yeah. And, and of course, he was coming up with some additional ideas and he says, hey, why don't we just postpone it and do it in California? Yes, and so and then, and then the boys called Tracy and I. Yep, and so we started praying. We started praying for another gym, and we started making phone calls. We must have called about what eight gyms at least, and yes. we were like, and it was, and the, it was, we call this one the tenacious Tracy. Yeah, she's tenacious. So we're like, we are not moving this event, you yes. guys. We have too much into this event. We're gonna find a different gym. Yep. So we called at lots of gyms yep. nobody had the machine yep. and then trace is like you know what let's just pray mm -hmm. so you pray yep. Yep. and then i just got a name and i we called jim and we're like jim try this person and see if he knows of a gym so i called him and i says hey here's the situation we got some serious in fact it was big adversity because we didn't have really too many options left so and we also had done all the social media already we did we asked yeah. the marketing the advertise but people we have people that have driven from other states, states uh, here. So uh, I called him and I says, hey, what would we do? And he says, well, you only have one solution in my opinion. If there's gonna be a solution, it's gonna be a gold gym. Gold so gym. I called this, the manager there. I asked for the manager. They got finally got me on with a really great guy. And he said, uh, let me see what we can do for you. See if we can make this happen. He made a few calls. Corporate got involved really quickly. They were really on it. They were awesome. And um, and then they found the store that had the machine. It turns out it's right here in Murfreesboro. And, so we um, drove out. Yep, we did. We drove out to actually look at the equipment. We had to get our eyeballs make on sure, it. Make yeah. sure it was here. And it was in the perfect spot. Yes, perfect, perfect filming spot. location in the gym. It all worked out. It, it was did. awesome. So the gentleman that made all this happen is Ken, and he's right there. Ken, come on over. Hey, Ken. Ken made it happen at Gold's Gym. Yes. He was responsive, he jumped on it. His communication was awesome. He kept in touch with me, which sure. I thought he's calling me, which was amazing. 
Absolutely. And so thank you for opening your, your golf gym house to us. Of course, of course. The energizing the family. Yeah. To yeah. Save, save, save the day. day. Yeah. Yes. So we're actually thinking that that there might even be another yes. opportunity at Gold's Gym yes. next year yes. that John is already contemplating. So he's always forward thinking. But thanks, Ken, for Thank, you, Ken. Thank, Thank you guys you. so Thank much for coming calls. out. Yeah. Really appreciate having you guys and the whole team. You guys have all been super wonderful. So thank you for providing this for our members and our facility. Thank, thank you. you. So when you reach a point where John is in, in this attempt that he's making at this lift at 555 pounds, the, the difference that five pounds makes at that weight, I, I guess maybe people could better uh, relate to a 40 yard dash. It's like running a, a 4.340 uh, versus a 4.440. Uh, you think about that's just uh, one hundredth of a second, but when you get that fast, when you're that fast, that extra, that extra one hundredth of a second is almost impossible to achieve. A lot of training. So that extra five pounds uh, is a ton at this weight. Like I said, adding on five, 10, 15 extra pounds is, is almost as if you're adding on a 45 pound plate. It just, the weight just seems that much more heavier when you're upwards towards your maximum capacity as far as lifting. When you're using the, the hammer strength equipment and we used that back at Nebraska when I was strength coach at the University of Nebraska. Uh, Boyd Epley worked with uh, Hammer Strength a lot, developing some of their equipment in uh, coordination with the founder of Hammer Strength. So I'm familiar with the Hammer Strength equipment. And starting in the position that John is going to be starting in uh, eliminates the momentum. There's uh, nothing in a normal bench press, you bring that bar down, it comes off your chest, you're pushing back up, and there's momentum involved in that. Uh, with the hammer strength and the range of motion that John is using, uh, they eliminate that momentum. This is a very difficult lift. When you're bench pressing on a hammer strength machine and have to, ha having to get in position, a lot of times that's an unnatural position. Our bodies are not meant to overexert the opposite direction. So the potential for hazard or injury is very likely to happen. But due to you know training and trying to practice safe protocols, um, I feel, and just John's total spirit about lifting weights, I just feel that he's gonna be able to push through. And another fun part of this journey, guys, is uh, when you're training for a max lift, you never lift the weight. You never lift that weight. Most people think that you have to go heavy all the time. And that's not necessarily the truth. In going for a one rep max, you seldom do that uh, in the gym. It's, it's not something that you're gonna do in the gym. You'll train up to that area. We base our, the weight that we're gonna lift off sub maxes. So what we did is we just broke down his current heaviest weight. We broke down to a sub max and we worked out from six weeks on percentages. So maybe we started at 60%. We had the volume, meaning the, the frequency way up here and how much volume we did, meaning sets and reps. And as the weeks went on, we got the weight, as the weight went up, the volume came down. And we kind of met it where it was at, but we still never got to that max. We wanted to save that for the day of the lift. The rest time involved and the adrenaline, the, the time he's had to think about this, the adrenaline build up to this, all that plays into that one rep max that seldom is ever done in the gym. So I had no idea coming into the lift, can I even lift 555? Which really was an angst to my wife. She was like, baby, just do it one time for goodness sake. Are you gonna go in front of the whole world and try to lift a weight you've never lifted before? And I said, yes, I am. We arrive at Gold's Gym and to our excitement, a brand new hammer strength chest press machine. We are so excited to do our world record attempt of 555 pounds. We immediately begin loading up the machine only to realize the machine will only hold 375 pounds. We are literally 
flabbergasted to realize what, what are we going to do? Can we stack the extra two plates needed? We need six plates on each side. Can we stack them on top? Can we strap them securely enough so that I will not be severely injured and, and risk hurting myself doing this world record attempt? Will the strap hold? Can we make it secure enough? The whole team is working feverishly trying to problem solve. How do we even get six plates on each side so that we can do this lift? And then thankfully, lo and behold, just as we're realizing there's no way to secure that much weight. You cannot secure six plates with straps. The manager of Gold Gym has a dense, leaner 45 pound plate. He finds one plate. Immediately people begin to scurry. Are there any of these plates located throughout the facility? Thankfully, one by one, the plates begin to appear. And finally, we end up with 12 plates. They still don't quite fit, so we still have to strap them in. But thankfully, now we can do the world record attempt with 12 plates securely strapped and do a safe lift. Hallelujah. I'm just super excited, Lyndon. I hope this will activate the people that are watching, it'll inspire you at any age. And go ahead, judge me, guess how old I am. You know, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. He knows how old I am. I was born in 1960. 1960, do the math. All right. That's right, 63 years old, 63 years young, and still have gotten stronger every year for 27 years. So it's a myth. It's a myth that you can't keep getting stronger haven't had a medical doctor visit for sickness in 27 years. You can be healthy at the cellular level. You can be your best. Mm -hmm. I hope this inspires you to do something great for yourself. Don't put this on your bucket list because we don't think about bucket lists around here. It's all about dream boards. Put this on your dream board. Dream big and let 555 be a challenge in your life that you hit. Let's go. after the challenge and the lift. So my amazing husband, I don't even know how many reps that was, by the way, that was a lot though. And all I kept thinking the whole time is, oh Lord, please just let him get one. He's been working so hard. And we did not lift it one time. We did it about 13 and a half times. <laughs> Somewhere between 13 and 14, at least 13 times. <laughs> even my coach was amazed. <laughs> He said, I was not expecting that. And by the way, I am gonna post my blood test 
and urine tests, no anabolic steroid, no testosterone, no HGH. I have a normal testosterone level for a 63 year old man. My testosterone is under 400, under 400. Can anybody say that guy's all natural? That guy's all natural. Look at me. I'm a normal size human being. I'm a normal size man for my age, my weight. By the way, I came in at about 179 pounds this morning. You know, 179, pushing 555, 13 reps. And then what does Julius tell me afterwards? John, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize we should have had a stool for you to brace your legs on. He said, you did that with your legs hanging. You did it with your legs hanging. He said, if you would have had your legs braced, you could have done more reps. He said, you truly did that with just your upper body strength. That was unbelievable, <laughs> which is so fun. Cause that means maybe I'll do more someday. Cause my goal was never to get strong. My goal was just to be faithful with what I've been teaching for 27 years, since 1997. I've been teaching people how to get intracellular hydration, how to get off their medication, how to lose their fat, gain their muscle, and avoid any type of doctor visit or illness or disease. And I just do what I teach other people and I just happen to get a tiny bit stronger every year. But can I tell you, just a tiny bit for 27 years adds up. <laughs> and I got you a little something, dude. <laughs> It says John Jubilee, 555 pound press with the date on it. Oh my word. She obviously had the confidence. Yes. She had the confidence. It's in the, and I'll share with you guys, in all my training, the most I lifted was 465 pounds uh, because I humbled myself to instruction of my coach. So he told me, here's how you lift to build up for this, to do a max. I humbled myself. I was a good student. Um, and that's what we encourage you to be. You know what, if you make a commitment to follow a program like Energize Health, be a good student. Just do what you're shared with by experts. We give expert advice every day. People follow it. Their lives are transformed. And this is an example, right? Yes, and every day that you work out, what's your five second negative? Oh, glad you asked. So we teach cellular health, mind, body, spirit. I speak to my cells every day. I do a special technique and I say, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. That's what I say to my cells. I'm speaking to them every day. How many of you guys would say that works? That works. <laughs> and that's really why. If you ask me, John, how in the world, I mean, look at me, I'm a normal size guy, about 179 pounds this morning, uh, lifting 555, 13 or 14 reps. How does that happen? By mind, body, and spiritual strength. It's not just eating a good diet or doing the right workout. It's having a healthy mind, a healthy spirit, healthy relationship with my wife. It's all of those things and declaring every day, the Lord is my strength. So I give the Lord 100% credit for the strength, not of myself, it is the power of the Holy Spirit flowing through me. And I'd love to invite you on a journey and challenge you to just begin to do the tiniest incremental steps to improve your life. So I'm inviting you into a journey of a 555 challenge. Go on my website, johnjubilee.com or energizehealth.com. Join our community. Let us help you change your life. Welcome to the journey of your best you ever. Let's pray for him.